And so then I started to think, could my concierge patients, do a lot of those people probably have some subclinical lower NAD levels? And I started treating them and sure enough, they got better. Wow. Then I started thinking about, well, what about my chronic illness patients, the people with Lyme and chronic illness, if I give them NAD, will it help them? And basically what I found is every population in my practice that I give NAD to does better. Thank you for joining us. I'd like to introduce Dr. Matthew Cook. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, thanks so much. It's my pleasure. I thought what we would start with today is talk about something I'm very much interested in, which is really the energy of the cell and talk about NAD. So tell us a little about your experience and how you utilize NAD in your practice. Can you give us some insight on that? And NAD is a, a molecule that's a cofactor that helps enzymatic reactions all over the body and is ubiquitous in biochemistry. Mm -hmm. and, and it facilitates basically enzymatic reactions everywhere from the Krebs cycle to uh, the, the function of the uh, electron transport chain in the mitochondria. Okay. So that's good. The problem is, is that in life, if we don't sleep, our NAD levels go down. What happens is there are certain populations of people who have lower levels. Oh, okay. So one of the things that NAD does is it helps you break, uh, break down alcohol. So every time you have an alcohol molecule in your body, you use two NAD molecules to break it down. So what I first started doing was doing NAD IVs for people with addiction. And what would happen is people would come in they would, they would have incredible cravings and they would all have all kinds of symptoms and NAD would almost immediately make those cravings and a lot of symptoms go away. And so then I started to think, could my concierge patients, do a lot of those people probably have some subclinical lower NAD levels? And I started treating them and sure enough, they got better. Wow. Then I started thinking about, well, what about my chronic illness patients, the people with Lyme and chronic illness, if I give them NAD, will it help them? And basically what I found is every population in my practice that I give NAD to does better. Are there any other um, really good uh, things to use it for? The one condition that really benefits from NAD is postural orthostatic hypotension. And that's a situation that is basically where people, their autonomic nervous system is not working very well. Mm -hmm. And when they're walking around, they feel like they're going to pass out. There's a very, very high overlap between this condition called POTS and Lyme disease. And so what, once I can onboard those people to getting enough NAD, mm -hmm. then they'll stop passing out. And I have so many people that I've treated where it took me six months or a year of treating them on a regular basis with NAD. And then all of a sudden they say, you know what, my pot symptoms are totally banished. The interesting thing is, is that I started to get a lot of people who uh, were, had really bad veins. And a lot of people that had been, you know, the opioid epidemic is so crazy. When we start to give IVs with NAD, everybody's veins get better. I think all vascular problems improve with NAD. So if somebody has Parkinson's and dementia, if we improve their vascular functioning, we're, we're doing for everybody with neurocognitive and neurodegenerative issues, mm -hmm. we do NAD and all of those people tell me they like it and they start to feel better. Sorry for the interruption again. To find out more about this speaker, become a speaker on our show, have Dr. Carter present at your event or podcast, learn more about coaching, consulting, tissue allografts, exosomes, supplements, legal help, 
or how to create a million dollar business card and dominate your area, we're here to help you. Just text your name and any question to 561-962-1231. Write that down. That's 561-962-1231. Or go to our website at drrosscarter.com to learn more. On with the show. So how does chronic inflammation either uh, cause problems that are helped by NAD or does NAD help with any type of inflammatory responses going on in the body? In the setting of inflammation, what I feel like that is, is that's a, a situation where the amount of inflammation that needs to be taken care of is beyond the body's uh, reductive capacities to, to deal with that. Yeah. So, so there's more, there's more fires for the, out there for the, than firemen to, to put it out. Right. And, and so NAD is kind of like a fireman. They can go in and start to begin to debulk the total amount of inf- inflammation. The goal really is not that you're going to do NAD for the rest of your life, but we're going to do targeted therapies to get the system working better. Your body is an amazing computer. And once we reset it, it's just going to go back to the factory default settings and start working great. Right. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. The improvement in cognition and cognitive function with NAD may be the most profound thing. You know, I started doing it and what I noticed is I, when I was going to work, I was just crystal clear all day long. And I also started noticing that at the end of the day, I had more energy than at the beginning. It just like my energy gets better and better and better. Um, and so then we started doing this for all of our concierge and wellness patients where we would stack in a little bit of NAD. Have you studied neurofeedback at all? Uh, a little bit. So there's all of these different Brodmann areas in the brain that all do something different. Yes. And so when you start to do it uh, in what's called a QEEG map, neurofeedback will try to train that area to yeah. come back online. So that's giving you verbal cues. If somebody's not doing his job, the brain has quite a bit of redundancy and another area will try to do that part of the job. Right. But then it won't do it as efficiently as it really ought to. And so then what, what, what we're doing is, is we're bringing areas back online and we're doing that with NAD, but then I'm stacking that with things like exosomes and other, other, other products. But, and, and, and I think there's also a very important part of, of the detox pathways of the brain. And, mm-hmm. but we're, it's probably one of, for, for cognition, one of the most important things. The biggest thing that, that I do that's interesting in my practice is a little unique is I do something called nerve hydro dissection. What uh, we've found is when we do NAD before those procedures, before stem cell treatments, before almost any injection. If I can do NAD before, people will have a better experience with the injection. People will often have less pain. 